Hello, in this session we are going to have a look at the demagnetization effect using Flex2D 3D and its effect on the performance of the machine. The agenda today in this short video is the following. The first point, we start by the definition of the demagnetization. Second point, how to, how, how to simulate a demagnetization effect on Flex2D 3D. Demagnetization effect in Flex2D. Demagnetization effect in Flex3D. We start by the first point, the definition of the demagnetization. In this slide, we give some notion about the demagnetization effect. Among risks of permanent magnet machines is the demagnetization of the magnets under certain working condition, for example, a temperature or a magnetic field. The adjacent curve show the operating area of permanent magnet. Generally, the hard magnetic material typically operate at the second quadrant of the hysteresis loop. From this curve also we can see if the load line is above knee point, take for example point K, the magnet will operate normally along K B line. But if the load line is below, below the knee point, the, the point D, in this case the magnet will be or will get partially demagnetized and will follow in your coil curve. From this, uh, from these curves, we can see the effect of the temperature on the performance of the magnets. We have two type of the magnet in this in this case, and for each uh, each uh, magnet, we can see the variation of the demagnetization curve as function of the temperature. Also, we can see the emplacement of the kni of the kni according to the value of the temperature this kni can be located in the first in the second quadrant or in the third quadrant according to the value of the temperature the second point is simulate a demagnetization effect on flux 2d and 3d a reminder about the working condition which can cause the demagnetization of the magnets namely the temperature and the magnetic field. From this curve, we can see the variation of the value of the remanence flux density according to the value of the magnetic field. While the magnetic field increases, we follow the BH curve of the magnet. However, when we go back, we will not follow the magnetic curve, but our coil curve. This means that the, magnet, the magnets are partially demagnetized. In Flex, we have developed a function that considers the, consider the demagnetization of permanent magnet. This function is available once the project is solved. In, this means that in, this, in the post-processing environment. The demagnetization effect, as I said before, is calculated after solving with the menu evaluate of the demagnetization. This new function is available in 2D and 3D with magnetostatic application or magnetotransient application. If the user wants to use this function, he should create no linear magnet. If he uses linear magnet, he cannot use this function. The slide shows the steps that the user needs to follow once the project is solved to evaluate the demagnetization effect. After sol solving in computation, the user selects evaluation of demagnetization and flux display in new window in this window we select the face region on which we want to evaluate the demagnetization effect also you have the interval or select the interval you have the creation of the spatial quantity and you have the demagnetization threshold the percentage of the of remnant flux uh, remnant density and the name of the results as a, next, as a next point, we will see the demagnetization uh, effect using Flux 2D and Flux 3D example. I open a Flux uh, supervisor. As I said in the beginning, we start by the 2D example. We select Open Project. We will open the, um, the project or the motor on which we want to see the demagnetization effect. As I said in the beginning, it is an APM motor. As you can see here in this uh, in this uh, picture, we distributed the winding. Once the motor is uh, opened, 
we will edit the material and change the properties of the material as you can see here we wait the opening of the project we will go in the physics material we edit the material used in the magnet by default as you can see here we use a linear magnet described, described by the BR module as I said in the beginning to use the demagnetization effect we need to use a now linear magnet this means that we need to change the properties of this uh, material and we need to use also the now linear magnets to do it we select here now linear magnet described by the HC and the BR module we put the properties of this uh, material the remanent flux density the coercitive field the maximum relative permeability the transversal relative permeability also we select the option taking into account of the demagnetization during solving process and we say ok as you can see here flux display a message that the property of this material are modified before solving to be sure that all things are well and correct in our project we do check physics from physics here we do select this option check physics as you can see here also flex display the message that check physics is executed and there is no error message this means that the project is ready to solve to solve it we go in the solving we select solve we save the project with a new name the mag effect test solving and we solve the project <coughs> flux open a new window this is the evaluation of the some performances of the motor this is the electric torque and there are also some input output parameters that we have created to create the current that we use to supply the motor in the second part we see the, you see the evolution of steps number also the um, the solving or uh, no linear solving and see if there is any convergence problem in my case i have already resolved the project in advance this means that we will not wait for the end of the resolution of the project to do the post processing now i go to the uh, solved project this is the solved project as you can see here now to see the effect the, to see the um, the demagnetization effect we go to the computation we select evalu evaluation of the demagnetization effect evaluation of the demagnetization flex will open a new window as you can see here from this new window the user have the possibility here to select both magnets or he can select just one magnet and see the demagnetization of, of the um, of the magnets on this uh, magnet or you can select both magnets in our case we will select the two magnets also you have the possibility to change the, um, the bounds of the interval as you can see here you can the, modify the mean or the max value if the user don't want to see uh, the demagnetization of effect during the one period flex also when we do the demagnetization effect create a spatial quantity by default this is the name that we use there is also a new parameter is the demagnetization threshold is the percentage of the remanent flux density by default flux proposed 10 per, uh, 19 percent the user have the possibility to change this uh, this uh, this value in the end here the name of the results once this is done we click on ok and as you can see here flux evaluate the demagnetization effect on the magnet for the demagnetization threshold this parameter represents the percentage that we take from the remanence flux density on which we check the demagnetization effect also as i said before the user have the possibility to check to select the number of the faces that he want 
For example, in our case, we use two magnets. This means that the user can select one or both magnets. If there is three or four magnets and the user wants to see the demagnetization just on one magnet, he can do it. The other point, the possibility also to change the bonds of the interval. The user have this possibility also for the mean and the max value. If the, if the, the user don't want to see the demagnetization effect on the whole um, interval. This is the results that we get and uh, the demagnetized volume ratio here in percentage. If I close this one and they go in the first parameter quantity, we see in spatial quantity, as you can see here, flux create a new parameter, BR mean one. If I go also on the post processing results, evaluation of the demagnetization, you see here that flux create the parameter demagnetization. If I edit this one, you see here, this is the percentage of the demagnetized volume ratio. There's another possibility also to see the effect or the, the effect or the demagnetization on the magnets is to use the ISO value. To do it, we create a new ISO value. We click here. This is the name. We select a spatial group here. We select the magnets. As I said before, also, you have the possibility to select the two magnets or one magnet. We click in function and we select, we go in user. We select the spatial quantity created during the evaluation of the uh, demagnetization. We say OK and they click again on OK. You will see here, I zoom a little bit to see the demagnetization on the magnet. This is the ISO value, uh, the ISO value of the flux density on the magnet. As you can see here, the maximum or the remand flux density that we have in the magnet is around 1.21 Tesla. If you compare with the, the ISO value that we have in this magnet, this mean or the results that this magnet is really demagnetized. Also, this is the interpretation of the negative value that we have here. And for the second magnet, also we start to demagnetize this uh, this uh, this magnet. We have just this part is not demagnetized. The other thing that we can see here also is the performance of the motor. To do it, we we'll draw the curve, new 2D curve of the electric electromagnetic torque. To do it, we go in this, um, we create a new curve. We put the name here, torque. We select the mechanical set, electromagnetic torque. Say, okay. And here, this is the curve of the torque with demagnetization. Now, to see really the effect of the demagnetization on the performance of the motor, I will load the curve of the torque before using the demagnetization effect. To do it, I go in curve, 2D curve, load, uh, import a 2D curve from a flux uh, TXT file. I select the uh, curve. This curve I created, I create this curve before, uh, before, and also using a now uh, demagnetization effect. I will open this one and I will import this curve. Now, I need to support and pause these two curves to see the effect of the demagnetization on the performance of the motor. I select this one, this is the name, and I select the torque that I created during the demagnetization effect. Also, this is the initial torque, and I will support and pause both. To see uh, the effect, really the effect, I will go into the sorted by formula. I select absolute, and you can see here from these two curves, you can really see the effect of the demagnetization on the performance of the motor. If you compute the average value for both, we'll see superimposed curve. You can 
compare between these two curves. This is the mean, the mean value. You have the the RMS value. You have also the rectified mean value. If you compare the mean value, you see that we have really decreased the performance of the motor when we take into account of the demagnetization effect. This is in the case of the flux 2D. In the case of flux 3D, it is the same. Uh, it, in case of flux 3D, it, it will be the same principle. The user need to change the material data or the material property by using, as I said in the beginning, a now linear magnet and solve the project. Once the project is solved, you run the function evaluation of demagnetization effect. In this case, the difference is that the user will select a volume region instead of the face, as instead of the face region. As a conclusion for this short video about the demagnetization effect, the first point, flux both 2D or 3D allows to consider or to take into account the demagnetization effect during the solving uh, process. There is also possibility to select one, two or three magnets to see the demagnetization effect once the project is solved. This function is available in flux 2D, 3D with, in, with magnetostatic or magnetotransient application. The user, if he want to see the demagnetization effect, he should use a nonlinear magnet, else he cannot see the demagnetization effect.